بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس ویڈیو از اباؤٹ تھیونس تھیورم اینڈ ہیئر ول بی سالونگ ایگزامپل ٹین پوائنٹ ایٹ اینڈ پریکٹس پرابلم ٹین پوائنٹ ایٹ فرام مسٹر الیگزینڈر ان صدیقوز بک آف فنڈامنٹل آف الیکٹرک سرکٹس سو وی جنرلی اینکاؤنٹر ٹو ٹائپس آف سرکٹ فار تھیونس تھیورم ون از وی دی اوپن ٹرمینل اے اینڈ بی and here we have to find V thevenin and we have to find Z thevenin. The other could be that we have a, uh, some circuit or we call it load, load connected and now in, in this case we have to find current through this load by using the thevenin theorem. So in the first case what we do is first of all we calculate Z thevenin by putting the source equal to zero. So this source can be put to zero by short circuiting and the current source can be put to zero by open circuiting and then solving we find Z thevenin. Then for V thevenin we use the complete circuit and calculate voltage in this case voltage across this will be VAB so that will be our V thevenin voltage and then finally we write the circuit like this V thevenin Z thevenin. Now in the second case we separate the load first of all so we separate the load and then we calculate the thevenin equivalent for the rest of the circuit as we did here same technique so the equivalent circuit for the left hand side and then we connect the load and then we can cal uh, calculate current through the load anyway uh, now let's go to the question direct exam 10.6 We have to find the thevenin equivalent across terminal A, B. So first of all, Z thevenin, and keep in mind that we have to set the voltage source to zero by shorting it, and current source to zero by opening it. Now in our case, only voltage source is given, so we short, we'll short circuit this voltage terminal. So shorting this, we get this circuit. And now virtually we are shorting D and F terminals. So we can redraw it like this, the D and F terminal shorted. And when we say D and F terminal shorted, that means these two are at the same point, same level. So we can again redraw the circuit like this. This is D F terminal. And now we can call the left hand side as Z1 and the right hand side as Z2 and we can solve for Z1 as uh, J6 minus J6 into 8 parallel so writing equation like this I hope you know how to do this and then solve by using your calculator in complex mode you can, will get this answer similarly Z2 parallel of these two and then total Z or Z thevenin will be the summation of these two so this is what we get Now let me just show you one of the calculations. The calculator has to be in complex mode. If it is not, then you press mode and two for complex. Certainly come into the complex mode. Now this is in uh, deviant form. So we'll use this box, numerator, denominator. At the numerator, we'll write minus J6 into eight. So bracket minus 6i bracket close bracket 8 you could have written minus j48 come to denominator 8 minus j6 bracket 8 minus 6i go ahead equal sign so this is the answer but this is in fraction form we press SD so we'll get 2.88 and minus 3.84 so this is the answer and this is how you can calculate the second part and as well as the third part so Z thevenin we have calculated now we need to find V thevenin now for V thevenin we redraw this circuit like this and this is here where V thevenin so either we can solve the upper loop or the lower loop to find V thevenin. But before that we have to find the value of these currents I1 and I2. Let's mark the polarity first of all. 
So volt, polarity voltage polarity marked plus minus wherever the current touches first, that will be plus. So plus minus plus minus here also. And now, first of all, we calculate I one. We can calculate by using this loop. So by KVL left loop, this loop. We start from any one corner for negative 120.75 plus I1 uh, J6 negative and plus I1 8 and from here you can calculate I to be this value. Now let's calculate I2. We have to take the outer loop for this, this loop and same way we'll write the equation. So minus 120.75 I24 and I2 and J12. From here we get I2, this value. We'll not calculate this right now because at the end we'll calculate. Okay, so now that we have found out V uh, I1 and I2, these are the two values. Let's write the loop equation. Upper loop, this one start from any one corner for negative I1 J6 for negative J6 I1 and then positive 4 I1 I2 and then negative V thevenin so from here V thevenin is J6 I1 I2 now we will plug in the values of I1 and I2 so plugging in the value we get this equation and you can simplify it uh, multiplying you get this answer adding J and uh, 90 and 75 etc so you will get this answer but the easiest way is to use your calculator and let me show you clear we are already in complex mode so there are two deviants first of all okay, let's go to the numerator denominator option bracket J6 or 6 I bracket close bracket 120 angle 75 so for angle we press shift angle 75 bracket close so numerator done denominator is 8 minus 6 bracket 8 minus 6 I bracket close move ahead plus sign again numerator denominator so we use this box again 4 120 75 so 4 bracket 120 shift angle 75 We could have just written uh, 480 angle 75. Anyway, denominator 4 plus J12. 4 plus 12I. Bracket close. Move ahead. Equal sign 28.93. Negative 28.93 and negative 24.546 to convert this into polar we go to shift and this option complex r theta is the polar option 3 equal sign so this is the answer but this is in uh, under root form so we press sd again it is 37.94 and angle is minus 139. Now the, there is a difference. Here the angle is minus 139, here it is plus 220. But we have learned earlier that any angle, if you add 360 or subtract 360, it, this value remains same. So if you add 360 with this, you will get 220, but the values remain same. So this is the answer. So now that V7 and Z7 are found, we can draw the equivalent circuit V7 and Z7. So this is uh, the first question. Now we come to the practice problem. Here also we have to find uh, the V7 and equivalent. We follow the same technique. First of all, Z7 and shorten the voltage source. 
So shorten the voltage source, redrawn like this. These two are now in parallel. We name it Z1. And so we solve for Z1. Z1 is these two parallel with J4. Solving, we will get 2.4 minus J3.2. Just use your calculator, you will get this answer. Now Z1 known, Z7 n will be Z1 plus 10. So Z7 n is Z1 plus 10. Putting in the values, it will be 12.4 minus J3.2 ohms. So Z7 n found, now we need to find V7 n. Now V7 n is the voltage here. Let's mark the polarities. So we assume a current direction. And wherever it is touching, we put the positive sign there. Now, this current or the current due to this source can only flow through this loop because the current has to complete a path. No current will flow in this branch. And therefore, there will be no voltage drop here. So we can say that the VAV uh, or V7N is actually equal to the voltage drop across the capacitor Vc. So we can write V7N is equal to VAB is equal to Vc. Now Vc we can calculate from here by the voltage deviant method. So this divided by total uh, impedance multiplied by J4. So you will get this answer and in uh, polar form you will get this value. So let's see with the calculator again. Clear. Numerator denominator. 100 angle 20 at the top. 100 shift angle 20. Bracket close. Denominator bracket 6 plus 2i minus 4i move ahead equal sign so oh sorry mistake we have to multiply this by 4 let's see if we can go ok this answer let's see we multiply the answer uh, let me do it again Did shift angle twenty bracket close bracket minus J four or four uh, sorry minus four I and at the denominator will have six plus two i minus four i we could have just written minus two i anyway so this equal sign so now we get the answer correct answer thirty nine point three one and minus forty nine and here also we can just go to the complex mode uh, sorry complex option complex three and for this we just press SD so 63.24 angle minus 51.56 so this is V7N and now that we have got both V7N and Z7N this will be our final answer so I hope you have been able to follow this uh, please let me know through your comments thank you